Hey there, everybody. Good morning. It is seven o'clock in time for seven minutes in the morning on Thanksgiving, the Monday of Thanksgiving weekend. Stay tuned. Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining me this morning. I appreciate it. I know it's Thanksgiving weekend, and for me, it's a weekend, or a week, Thanksgiving week, not weekend, Thanksgiving week, a week on the road, a week visiting my daughter and her family, and taking care of number two grandchild, so, um, so, a little different digs this morning, but hey, we're going to get through this together. This week, I want to talk to you about being thankful, some things to think about, kind of stimulate your thinking around being thankful this week. You know, we really should do this all the time. I, I encourage you every day, every day, to begin the day with an attitude of gratitude. So this is nothing new this week. Um, there's nothing new about being thankful, the need to be thankful. What I want to do this week is give you some things to think about that might not be um, top of mind. So... Uh, before I do that, though, I want to encourage you, if you're watching live or watching on the replay, do what Joe just did. Leave me a comment. Say hi down there. Let me know that you're here. Uh, I will do my best to, re to reply to them here in the video or in the, the comments afterwards. One way or the other, you're going to get your answer. All right. So here we go. First, today, I want to encourage you to be thankful for your failures. Be thankful for your failures. Why is that? Well, there's this idea, especially around software developments where I learned it first, but you want to fail fast. Why do you want to fail fast? Because when I fail, I learn a way not to do it, right? Instead of failure being a, a bad thing, look at failure as a clue that this is not the direction to go. There are many directions that we can go when we have set our mind on the outcome that we are trying to create. We are pursuing that. We're going down this path to get there. We might find that that path won't lead us there, right? So the earlier that we can fail, the earlier we can adjust our course to still get to the outcome that we desire, right? But if we are so focused and so intent on perfection, always being perfect, that we don't execute until we have a perfect plan in place, then what's likely to happen? Right. You're not going to execute. If you don't execute, you don't make progress. If you don't make progress, no happiness and fulfillment. Right? So the people, look, people that say they've never failed have never tried anything new. That's a Bezos quote. <clears throat> people that never fail never tried anything new. You don't want to be part of those folks. You want to explore the new things. You want to uncover the right way, the best way, to get to that outcome that you're trying to create. Along the way, there will be failures. Let me prove it to you. If you get in a car in the morning and you're driving to town to work, to a client's office, to a meeting, can you just get in the car, turn the steering wheel, point it toward your final destination, then sit back and read a book? Well, not yet. You can't anyway. Maybe someday we'll be able to, but right now we can't. Why? Because we have to make all these tiny adjustments, right? Even if you're going down a dead straight highway, which we did on our way here last weekend, you're going down 100 miles of dead straight highway, right? You still have to make all these tiny adjustments. Those are like little failures, right? Because if, if you had been perfect, which is what we often pursue, you could point it and then just sit back and it would just go straight. But it doesn't. We have to make little adjustments. So those, those failures, when I say fail fast, it's get to those adjustment points quicker. When you can get to those adjustment points quicker, make the adjustment, then you will get to your outcome quicker. Hope that has helped a little bit, gives you something to think about. All week this week, I want to talk about some things to be thankful for heading up uh, into or toward Thanksgiving on Thursday. 
So be sure and tune in this week, whether you can watch them live or on the replay. We'll have some good stuff here for you to think about. All right. So uh, don't forget, if you're watching, drop me a comment down there. Say hi. I'll reply back to you. And I'll be back here again tomorrow with another installment of 7 Minutes. You take care.